family, Eric here. So what I wanna do is talk about um, how you guys can actually learn how to manage robots eff effectively and efficiently and how to actually understand robots. So there's a big difference between uh, having a robot that you can actually use to trade your account and you don't you don't have to touch it you don't have to do anything and then there's and then there's a a, a way to utilize a robot to whereas you control it you manage it you make sure that you're controlling and managing your, your risk so ladies and gentlemen i know there's bots all over the internet you know some of you guys don't like using bots you don't trust them some of you guys don't really understand bots some of you guys are using bots right now and you really don't truly understand how either um, if you're using it to its maximum potential or if you have a bot that's potentially dangerous for your account. All right. You, you may see that you have good results, um, you know, from what people are posting and showing and you just, you know, so, you know, you're following social media, Forex gurus and stuff like that. Um, or, you know, or if you have have something that you truly know how to utilize properly. So what I teach here is actually bot management and uh, the biggest part of this bot management mentorship is actually to show you how to use a Forex robot or a Forex software, right, to get funded, to become a funded trader. And the company that we like to use is FTMO uh, because they, they don't have really, uh, really strict criteria when it comes to passing their challenges to actually getting you to become a funded trader. All right. So what we teach you guys how to do is how to use my uh, my flagship robot, Savage Prime, teach you how to manage that bot um, so that you can actually use that bot to get funded. Now, there's a big difference between trading with the robot and trading manually. Now, some of you guys like to spend time in front of your charts, marking up charts and, and you know, you know, you know, networking on social media, and whatever the case may be, how, however you like to trade. And there's some of you guys who actually have jobs, you have careers, um, things like that. And you don't have the time to, you know, you don't want to be a, a social media forex trader. You know, you don't want to be in chat rooms all day. You don't want to be in Telegram rooms all day or Discord rooms. And you don't want to want to need to be on Facebook Lives and Zoom all day. And you don't want to, you know, some of you guys actually really want to just make your money and spend time with friends and friends and family and focus on personal improvement. So it's just like me. I'm a I'm a, I'm a quiet trader. I don't need to be in. I don't need to social socialize and trade at the same time. Um, and I've been like that for close to 20 years, even before, you know, everyone starts jumping online and, you know, doing what you guys do and, you know, trading together, whatever you guys do. is. Um, so when you actually want to learn how to use a software that's not going to be too aggressive, because a majority of these softwares online are, aren't designed to really trade your account safely and conservatively and and, and deliver you know, five to ten percent per month. Um, the average robot that can de deliver five to ten percent per month is roughly going to give you a uh, ten to twenty percent drawdown. Twenty percent drawdown minimum, right? The average robot that's going to give you ten percent or more per month is going to give you anywhere between a twenty to a fifty percent or more drawdown. Which means that um, you know, if you're trading with a robot that's giving you a forty-eight percent drawdown, a fifty percent drawdown even a 30% drawdown, that just means that that was the likelihood of your account being blown. So um, if you're working with hedge fund managers or working with a company that manages hedge, fund, hedge funds, there's no way in the world that having a 20% drawdown is going to be acceptable. It's just, it's not going to be acceptable to them. And there's no way they're going to give you a $50,000 or $100,000 funded account when you're used to learning how to trade from social media, forex, you know, gurus. Um, who have you do things like risk 10% of your account on a trade. Okay, guys, so, you know, it's, you know, if it works for you, it works for you. Um, if you do it on your personal account, fine, you know, it's whatever. But if you want to have one account that's sustainable, not an account that you risk 10%, you take, you know, 10 trades, and now your whole account is gone. All right, I teach my students, you know, be manually trading 1% risk, all right? 1% risk, you know, try to go for 3 to 5% return. So, um, a, a one, a one, a three, one, a five, but you aren't going to risk your, you know, 10% of your account. So I'm going to show you guys um, what we're talking about here, especially when it comes to FTMO. So now FTMO is a company that you can go, you know, really have a, a, a three-step trade, a three-step process or a two-step process, actually, 
the, the challenge, the verification, then you become a trader. Okay, so with FTMO, all right, you only, you know, you can start trading with a 10, a 10K account. Most of my trainings for my, uh, that when I teach my, my, my bot management uh, students that was taking the mentorship program is that um, we're typically going for a 50K funded account. All right, that's what we're going with, going for a 50K account. Now, what a 50K account is 345 uh, euros, but that's like, it's 401 USD, all right? And that, and all of your, the money you spend on your challenges refunded to you once you become a funded trader, okay? But you see that their criteria is really, it's not really strict, you know, so it's a 30-day challenge. You have to trade for a minimum of 10 days. Your max daily loss is 2,500, and your max loss before you're kicked out of the challenge is five, it's five, it's 5K. And your profit, your profit target for your first 30 days is 5K. All right, then once you hit your, your verification phase, uh, it's a 60-day 60 uh, 60-day trading period. Here's the thing. If you hit your, if you reach your target within 10 days, um, you don't have to wait to the full 60 days before they, they, they complete this and move you on as a funded trader. Okay, guys, and once you become a funded trader, um, whatever your whatever you take um, your home, which is whatever you make, um, you actually they actually add your your fee that you originally paid to that, so you actually get your your fee refunded to you once you become a funded trader, guys. And and the reason why I like FTMO the most is because you can use bots to trade with them. Your bots can hedge; they can do whatever as long as you don't violate the things your 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 your, your max daily loss and your max uh, loss. All right, those are really the only two things that. As long as you don't, as long as you don't violate those things, you're perfectly fine. So what I do is I teach you guys how to get traded using the software, just managing a software. So you guys have to understand um, if you know if you're trading with a bank or you know you're trading for a bank, you're trading for a hedge fund, trading for brokers. If you're trading, if you have a high high volume trading account, um, and from my experience, and actually I mean literally from my experience, they they have traders that manage the softwares. The traders don't really do much trading themselves. They have traders that manage the softwares, right? And there's companies who purchase softwares that's been developed, and they sell them to these hedge funds, to these banks, to these brokers, uh, to, to the, these guys who manage large funds. And uh, and then these guys use that software, they manage the accounts. So you guys have to understand, I'm not teaching you guys anything that's not been done in the, in the, in the broader spectrum of the broader phase of the market. I'm teaching you guys um, how to actually compete with these people and actually how to manage an account effectively. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to one of the FTMO demo accounts that they use. I use basically their demo accounts with the FTMO uh, testing or the free trial account uh, has the same environment, market environments um, as your 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 live account. So FTMO did a really good job of making sure that if you come in and you want to be a funded trader, that you can you can test out your skills on an account where the environment is the same. So what I did was. I created, um, um, I, I made some changes to my bot to make sure that we can uh, trade it according to um, what FTMO requires and, and actually so that you guys are able to uh, utilize the bot in a manner to where you can get funded. So, um, and I, you know, briefly, um, I go over this, this strategy really briefly here. Uh, the, the training is really in depth inside of my Facebook group in the unit section. So my, my team and my students have direct access to that inside of my Facebook group. Um, so now here's what we're looking at. We're looking at, for example, GBP USD. Now, now a lot of you guys have these robots. You guys have to understand. It doesn't matter what none of these gurus are going to tell you about these robots and these softwares. All right, bots work best when they are trading a trend, and they have certain entries, certain rules when it comes to trading a trend. Now, my bot works best. It's absolutely insane when it trades a trend. Okay, absolutely amazing trading the trend. Um, where a lot of bots have problems is where there's when when the market when price is moving sideways or the market has no no true direction. That's where a lot of bots have problems. Uh, that's where a lot of you guys who are using these bots to use martingales and use grid steps and things, grids and things like that. When you have moments where the bot just get absolutely get his ass in trouble. Um, and even and primarily with with a lot of those bots when they are stuck in a trend. All right, they just absolutely have a high, extremely high drawdown. Your account run the risk of being blown and things like that. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you like the the most legitimate way to operate a forex robot without having uh, having a robot that's that's giving you extremely high drawdown. 
okay, without having a robot that's holding a bunch of negative trades open. You guys have to understand, I'm, I'm sorry, you know, you know, there are some bots out there that's pretty decent. They're decent, but having a lot of negative open carry is, I mean, is, 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 is not good. Right? It's just, honestly, it's just bad for business. There's no way in the world a company is going to give you an account where you can get funded and you can actually actually utilize the software like that whereas you can sit back and make money. And if you want to put it on your personal account, that's fine and dandy, but what every Forex trader who has developed a Martin Gill or Grid robot knows is that if you get stuck, if you're about to get caught into a long trend, then you run the risk of blowing your account. That's why they use things like um like um um uh equity stops because they know for a fact that that bot is gonna that bot if that bot did not have an equity stop on it, it will blow your account. Okay, so they put equity stops on these bots so that you know because you guys want to be so hand off, you want to make you want to do something, you want to make money and not do anything. Um, you know that that increases your risk. Okay, so they have to add equity stops to these things so that they won't blow your account. So what I'm going to show you guys here is really is really bot management, um, knowing when the trend is about to start. Start. So a bot really doesn't know. A bot doesn't know. A bot is only can only do what is programmed. The average person, no one can guarantee you that a trend is going to start at this moment, at this time frame. No one can guarantee you that. There's no guarantees in forex. No one can guarantee you that their strategy is 100% foolproof. That you would never lose a trade. No one can make any guarantees. That's why every forex guru is it will give you a disclaimer because they can't make any guarantees and there's no guarantees in forex. So what I want to do is make sure that. I show you how to utilize a software to be able to trade the market so that you can become a funded trader all right, so that you can grow your account safely. If you want to do this for growing your personal account, you can be more aggressive. If you want to be a funded trader, you can be more conservative and still achieve the results you're looking for. So for example, we know that our max daily loss for FTMO on a 50K account is 2,500 bucks. And we know that we want to get roughly, we want to make about 10% monthly, even on, on a challenge. And even after we become a funded trader, we still want to make, you know, 10% monthly. That's my goal on my funded account. That's, uh, you know, I try to give my students a good goal of 10% monthly on their funded account. It's just a target, something for them to be able to set for themselves. So if you set the target, then you know that you need to get uh, that, you know, once you hit 10%, then you, you, you can actually turn your box off. And you can be done for the month or for the week. So in this case here, what we do is we try to identify the trend, and then we put our we we'll allow our bot to position themselves to get to the trend. So you see, the new version of Savage Prime is on the five-minute time frame. But what I'm doing is I'm watching on the one-hour time frame, and I can even go to the four-hour or the daily as well and watch that to see where we believe the trend is going to start. And I use a series of indicators to allow me to, to identify when the trend is going to come. Uh, some things to know when, um, you know, there's if the bot is going to be supporting resistance, if it's safe, or what's really going on. So in this case here, um, we have an indicator that we use, this indicator here and this indicator there, to, uh, to really give me a heads up when the trend is going to start. But this indicator is really my best trend indicator. I like this indicator. It's the best, right, to let me know that once this green line, once this yellow line, the, the signal line crosses the green line, we're looking at a trend. I have my indicators up here to let me know that, all right, um, <clears throat> price is oversold, I mean overbought. Okay, I, I have my arrows to let me know if I was going to manually hedge or even if I wanted to wait for an arrow on a, on a high volume candle to turn the bot on. If I want to wait for more separation between uh, this indicator, uh, between uh, the signal line and the green line, uh, my overall market sentiment line has already... Uh, been over overbought if it's across the 68 so there's a few things I get to look at and once I become well versed at this uh, at using this this particular setup or the strategy where identifying the trend what I can do is if I'm confident with this uh, this trend uh, this new trend starting okay because I mean it's obviously a pretty sweet trend to start here all right I'm often if I'm confident with that trend starting what I do is I go into my bot so I will go here I go to my bot and say, okay, I want you to trade short only. Then I will put input certain settings, or I use a set file that I've created, or that um, that I created and sent to my students, and let them test it out and, and try or use it, or a set file that I created for myself. I teach my students how to create their own set files. All right, so this was GDP USD uh, 0.01 lot for every 1,000. 
Okay, guys, I have to spread. I mean, there's certain things in stop loss. I take profit. I can use stealth mode if I'm if I'm using if I'm not using the FTMO broker because that broker aren't going to be shady. That broker's not going to be shady um, because they have so much money with these brokers. They're going to really, you know, you know, be good to, you know, a, a, a hedge fund company. Okay, but if I'm using my own broker brokerage account, maybe, you know, maybe I'm using Traders Way, Hugo's Way. Some of you guys may still be using JFX if you're out of the states. Okay. Maybe I want to put on turn stealth mode on because I don't want my broker or anyone to know where my trailing stop, my stop loss, my take profit, and all of those things are. And you can put it on stealth mode, all right? So then you it's be hard for them to cheat you because they don't know what's going on. Then the bot's gonna manage all of those things by itself. Okay, it's gonna manage it without without them being without them seeing it, all right? Um, and because and the one the difference between using stealth mode and not using stealth mode is that if you use stealth mode, then your bot is going to keep track of your trailing and stop, your stop loss, your take profit. But if you take it off stealth mode, then it's going to be on your broker. Your broker is going to see it. It's going to be a static stop loss, take profit, trailing and stop, and things like that. And then even if your bot something happens to your computer system, something like that, all right, that's still going to be in effect. Now, if your bot is controlling it, something happens to your computer system, then your your bot's you know, your bot is not going to be able to control and manage that. So that's the pros and cons. But if you have a good system that you're using, maybe you're using a VPS or something like that, um, or you just have a good system that you're constantly monitoring, then you're fine with turning stuff mode off. So we have so many things that you can do with uh, with this bot. It's so flexible. Um, it's, I mean, I mean, just your ability to hedge and things like that. I'm, I'm going to show you, um, you know, the, the hedging feature alone is, is absolutely game changing. I have two hedging features. So if the bot loses a trade, it can get the money back. And it, hedge, it hedges in two different ways. I don't use Grid. I don't use Martingale uh, here uh, with, here necessarily. There's a certain type of Martingale, but it's not a crazy opening multiple, multiple orders and stacking orders. So the bot is not going to stack orders uh, like the traditional Martingale, but it will hedge an order. Okay, so GBP USD has its own setting. Uh, and then what we're looking at here from uh, from this day, from when we've seen, so 10.22 to roughly until when price came back above the 10.27, when price came back above this yellow line and crossed over, right? When that happens, we want to say, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn the bot off for a second. We're going to let the bot uh, see what the bot's going to do, right? If this is going to be a new trend, then it's going to be a new trend. So it could have easily turned it off short only, turn it back on long only, and I'll show you. And then you know we'll come in, we'll tell the bot once again what direction to trade, short on your long only, and then we'll tell it trade in that direction. So in this case here, we're telling the bot uh, based on a one-hour time frame, right? Price obviously was overbought, and I'm I don't want to sit, I don't want to, I'm not going to sit in front of my charts every day. I actually want to live my life, want to do other things. All right, so um, I'm going to see at this point to my bot to trade short only, roughly right around here, 1021, 1022. So we got from 1021 up until 11.2. Right, and our indicators, let, you know, we're able to let our, to, you know, let our indicators or our indicators would give us a, a good plan of, of attack um, to let us know what we should and what we shouldn't do. Now, in this case here, we could have easily turned the bot off if we believe that price is going to start, it's going to be burst and go long and go long. Okay, easily could have done that. All right, also could have left it. Okay, because, um, it's been a crazy week. We understand the week. We understand fundamentals. We really know what's going on. All right. But even more so, if we respect our indicators, we see that, all right, the MBL line, all right, the market sentiment, how people feel about the market is not really strong on a long end, right? It's really teetering on a 50 level. So we can actually, we can either decide to let the bot stay on short only, or we can turn it off and we can just let the bot, you know, um, let the bot finish trading roughly around uh, 10, 26, 27. All right, because we see the price uh, price may be going long for a certain period of time, or we can just let the bot stick with one short only until we get a confirmation. Now, we have our moving averages here. We like to use our moving averages to know if we have a strong trend or not. And we see the trend is weak, all right? This long trend is weak. So, there, you know, saying that the long trend is weak, we have conversions on the moving averages, possible uh, prices making lower lows and lower highs. This case here, in this case, I, I'm perfectly fine with, with um, letting the bot you know, continue to run short only, okay? Even if we want to go that far in the time frame, our day, our day time frame, and say, okay, you know, what's really going on with price? Is price dropping? You know, is the trend dropping? Anything changing? Now we on a short trend here, and you see, definitely was on a short trend here, All right? So, so we can always use a top-down approach when it comes to identifying the best opportunities for the bot. Even if we went to the four-hour time frame, we see right around ten twenty-three. 
All right, the bot was definitely given, uh, you know, you know, definitely in a situation to where it's, it's uh, uh, price is going short. So if, if we look at this, we can say well, on a four pay, based on a four-hour time frame. All right, you know, we have some good separation right around this this section on a four-hour time frame. I'm okay with letting the bot run short only uh, up up until you know um, I get a clear indication that price is is, is running long. All right, in this case here, we're gonna let the bot run short only from 1021 up until today. And then we're gonna just, you know. So, so these are the results you have gotten. So now, now here, now here's what we're looking for when it comes to bot management. For starters, this one pair, we want to try to get as close to at least one percent for the first for this week for this pair. If I can get two, three, four percent a week, um, or, you know, uh, from letting a total of, uh, you know, letting all my pairs trade that, that I'm utilizing. Then I'm good. I know that if I'm looking for 10 percent and I'm averaging 4 percent a week, then I'm looking at about two and a half weeks where I'll be trading or letting the bot trade, and I'll just be watching and managing the bot. Then um, I know that um, I can get my 10 percent monthly. I can get funded. I, I can continue to produce results consistently without me needing to be involved in, in making uh, manual errors. So now let's go ahead and look at the report. So the so the bot was able to do deliver almost 1%, almost 1%, and lost a trade, but it's, it's okay. And we're going to see what trade it lost. We're going to see what's really going on. But what's even more important is that the bot never got anywhere near the max daily loss. See, that's, that's the most important part. If you don't get anywhere near the max daily loss, then you know you're working with something pretty. You know, you, you're, you're working uh, under optimal conditions, especially when your, your max daily loss only exceeded with this particular, uh, with this particular pair over seven trades, uh, just under 1%. Guys, I'm telling you, if you're able to grow your accounts and not really, not blow your accounts and not have crazy drawdown, having trades is being held for days, negative, a lot of negative open carry. Guys, I'm telling you, this, I mean, it's extremely easy. You're looking at a profit factor of a 3.63. So that's, um, that's, that's roughly seven, uh, seven trades and the bot closed out a loss, uh, 11-1. Um, which was uh, 11 one obviously with that was Sunday, uh, but it closed out a loss Okay, so and I'm wondering if you know w would it still be a loss because what it did was it closed out uh, It closed out that day. So what we should have done on the test and Let's see what happened. We did really three because that'd be today. That'd be actually that still be today If let's see we would still experience a loss for the day and no, we, no, we didn't. So we tested properly. If we would let the bot run from 10:21 up until today, we would have closed out in uh, uh, eight. Look at that, just over, just over one percent. So that's excellent. I mean, excellent, excellent opportunity. And there, at that point, there's really no, there's no getting in front of the charts. There's no making trades. That's really just one day of you looking at your chart and say, okay, I'm going to tell the bot to trade in this direction. I'll check on it in, in a day or so and see how well it's doing. Or I'll check on it at the end of this day, you know, once a day, just see what's going on and check on it. And then, um, perfectly fine. See, on average, you guys are checking your box anyway. You guys are just sitting in front of your box and you're posting the results on Facebook, you know, just being a social trader. But in this case here, you're able to utilize this bot. This bot gives you over 1% return. All right. Profit factor is so absolutely insane that it, it doesn't even register. You see? 100% win rate, uh, less than 1% drawdown. All right, so now that's one pair. Now, what have you had? What have you got three pairs or four pairs this week? All right, three. Let's say four pairs this week, and you was able to get more than more than uh, just over, you know, four or five percent um, in regards to your return. So that's how you're able to, you know, actually utilize the bot effectively and efficiently. You can even do this on your own personal account. All right, and then you don't have a lot of negative carry, guys. You guys have to understand how important this is. Not have negative carry. Negative, uh, uh, and, uh, just an absolutely insane drawdown. You guys understand a drawdown is basically how, how close the bot got to blowing your account. So if you if you properly understand a drawdown, you understand that a high drawdown means that your bot had a let's say a 30% drawdown. There was a 30% chance that your bot was going to blow that account. But if you have a 1% drawdown, that's a 1% chance that the bot was going to blow the account. You guys understand. And if you're trying to become a funded trader, and you know no matter if you go with FTMO or anyone, then you have to, these are, these are the most important metrics that you want to make sure that you have, you have control over, all right? It's just like if you have, if uh, someone's trading your account, wouldn't you feel comfortable and safer if the person was trading your account uh, adhere to these strict rules that they use a software that, uh, that, that's not emotional like them, that, that, that's set 
properly to where it can give you the results you're looking for. So we did the same thing with GBP USD, GBP JPY, Euro USD, EJ, uh, EUR GBP. We did that and we got 1% for the week for from all of these pairs. And we know the next week we just got to do the same thing. Okay, guys. Um, and uh, and really going into into de uh, detail about how to manage the body, what if the body gets in trouble, things like that. Um, I, I show everyone in, everyone in my training group. I have training videos that teaches you all these things. Um, and uh, and then you guys have direct access to me. So if you want to get into this mentorship program, you want to be able to go out and become a funded trader. Um, you know, and you actually want to be able to f to feed your family. Uh, trading now. Hey, keep in mind if you guys want to use your own personal money and you want to take forever to grow your account until you get 50k or 100k, it's perfectly fine. It's up to you. You can do that. You can definitely follow the uh, the the, uh, the you know the the social media uh, authorities gurus who want you to leverage you know use 10 20 percent on a trade and you know and and have you guys gamble. All right. Well, what I want you guys to do is actually win. You know, I want you guys to be able to trade as if. Um, as if you were, a, a, as if you were a, an account manager. Keep in mind, like, is, there's nothing stopping you guys from going to get licensed and certified to be able to trade for people. All right, you guys can go out there and get your series licenses, your insurance licenses. You guys can go out there and actually uh, get get licensed to trade for people. Okay, and then if you have these rules that you follow and the software like this that you utilize, you can you can produce consistent. Uh, consistent profits every single month for yourself and your family. Uh, you just want to make sure you have the right software, the right right education, the right mentorship that's going to guide you down the right path. So if you guys actually want to make some money in this game, feel free to get a hold of me. If you guys have any questions, just watching this, uh, watching this right now, feel free to get a hold of me, and I'll see you guys uh, inside of my group.